My name is Christine Nalen, and I'm the principal at Pine Grove, and I will be your Master of Ceremonies this afternoon. Before we begin, I would like to give a very special thank you to Nancy Fisk, former music teacher, and Erin Scully, former student at Pine Grove School, for their wonderful music <laughs> me in welcoming some very special family members of Pat Marshall. Pat's eldest son Jeffrey Marshall and wife Lisa. <laughs> Their brothers um, Morgan and unfortunately Miranda is not able to be with us. Jason Marshall and wife Renee along with their son Kevin. two sisters, Barb Cash and Judy McNaught, and stepmother, Marilyn Wolfgram, and her daughter, Susan. And sister, Sue Carroll. And sister, Sue Carroll. <laughs> <laughs> I would also like to introduce other special guests who have joined us, joined us here today. School committee members, Mary Murphy and Paul Lees. Committee member Lane Bourne was unable to join us today, but he sends his best wishes along. I'd also like to in introduce the Triton Regional School District Superintendent, Christopher Farmer. <laughs> Former Triton Regional School District Superintendent, Jerry Cohn. <laughs> Former Pine Grove School Principal and Triton Regional School District Assistant Superintendent, Sue King. <laughs> AJ Paglia, Chief of Staff for Senator Bruce Tarr. And Harry Stanley has joined us. Representative Harry Stanley is also with us today. And I would like to mention um, former art teacher Marianne Vorosky. I don't believe she's here yet, but um, this was really her project along with Pat many years ago, so let's give her a round of applause as well. I have often said that being in the field of education and serving as an elementary school principal is one of the greatest jobs in the world. Pat Marshall maintained that attitude and held that fortitude on a daily basis throughout her career. I am proud to say that Pat was a colleague and friend who inspired me to become a principal. She mentored me in so many ways, and for that, I am forever grateful. Hundreds and hundreds of students walk these corridors, learn in these classrooms, run on the playground, participate in activities in the all-purpose room, and pass through the Link Art Gallery on a daily basis. Former students, including my own three children, did the same under Pat's leadership, service, and commitment to the children of Raleigh. Pat's desire and pledge to instill the world of culture and the arts to the children of Raleigh is a fitting tribute to the kind of principal that she was. She truly believed in educating the whole child and encouraged all children to pursue their dreams. That mission and spirit continues to live on each and every day at Pine Grove School. Today is a special day with joyful hearts as we honor Pat's legacy by renaming the Link Art Gallery to the Pat Marshall Link Art Gallery. And now, uh, reading some proclamations, I'd like to introduce Raleigh Board of Selectmen, Joe Perry. Thank you. It's nice to see so many wonderful people here uh, celebrating uh, this wonderful lady. Uh, she did a lot for the uh, town and a lot for the uh, Pine Grove School. And I have a proclamation from the uh, Board of Selectmen. We, the Board of Selectmen of the town of Raleigh, Massachusetts, by virtue of the authority vested in us by the people of Raleigh as elected officials, do hereby proclaim that Pat Marshall, having faithfully served in an exemplary manner as a teacher, then assistant principal, and then principal at the Pine Grove School for over 30 years. The Board of Selectmen wishes to celebrate the memory of Pat Marshall, who passed away on July 25, 2011. We urge all the citizens of the town of Raleigh, its community leaders, business and government officials to celebrate Pat's memory and to join in the dedication of the Pat Marshall Link Art Gallery at Pine Grove School. In witness whereof, we have hereby set our hands 
in the seal of the town of Raleigh this 23rd day of April, 2012. And I'd like to present that to you after Simon Jason. I thought I was first going to be the only elected official here and I uh, was wondering how uh, I would handle it from these other dedications that I have to uh, uh, pass out. But uh, it's nice to see Harry and AJ representing Bruce Char along with the uh, other uh, school committee uh, people here. Uh, I have a letter from the United States Senate from the Honorable Scott Brown, United States Senator congratulating uh, the uh, Marshall family on the uh, dedication and naming of the Pat Marshall Link Art Gallery. Massachusetts, I send warm greetings to you as you gather for the de dedication of the Pat Marshall Link Art Gallery at Pine Grove School in Raleigh from Governor Patrick DeBell. <laughs> and I have a certificate of special congressional rec recognition presented to the Pat Marshall Link Art Gallery in remembrance of Pat Lee Marshall, an educator, administrator, friend, and colleague, in recognition of Pat's outstanding and invaluable service to the community, John F. Turney, member of Congress. <laughs> and now I'd like to introduce A.J. Paglia from uh, Senator Bruce Tower's office. Thank you very much. It certainly is a pleasure to be here today on behalf of Senator Tarr. I know he wanted me to wish his, uh, send his best wishes to all of you. And uh, he did have a special relationship with Pat Marshall, uh, which lasted an awful long time. And unfortunately, he, on top of having a double conflict schedule um, today, he is sick on top of that. So I'll be running out to do a few more uh, events for him this afternoon. But he did want me to express his sincere uh, best wishes to all of you, especially to Pat's family. Um, I know Pat is a former selectman for the town of Raleigh, and I can honestly say that she was a wonderful person, and um, I really enjoyed working with her on my nine years on the Board of Selectmen. She was a very, very intelligent person. She was sincere. She had the town of Raleigh and the school department, the children's best interests at heart, and she was a friend of the Board of Selectmen, and it was always a pleasure to work with her, and, uh, and, and certainly a pleasure to um, achieve certain goals that that the school department and the Board of Selectmen uh, tried to achieve in, in some challenging times. But it was always a good working relationship and a pleasure to work with her. And uh, I considered her a very good friend at the time. And I'm honored to be here to honor her today as well. So uh, on behalf of Senator Tarr, Senator Tarr actually, uh, given his uh, long-term relationship with her and uh, the feelings that both of us share uh, toward Pat Marshall, he ordered a resolution, a Senate resolution, uh, which was voted on by the body, and I'll read that resolution here for you today. Massachusetts State Senate resolution honoring the memory, life, service, uh, life and service of Pat Patricia Marshall on the dedication of the Pat Marshall Link Art Gallery. Whereas on May 21st, 2012, the Link Art Gallery at the Pine Grove School in the town of Raleigh will be renamed the Pat Marshall Link Art Gallery in honor of Patricia Marshall's 35 years of dedicated service to Pine Grove Elementary School and the greater educational community. And whereas Patricia Marshall was born in the city of Salem on May 14, 1947, uh, to, her, uh, to her late father uh, and mother, John and Constance Wolfgram. And whereas Patricia Marshall earned a Bachelor of Science degree in education from Salem State College, in 1969 and went on to earn her master's degree in education from Salem State College in 1973. And whereas in 1969, Patricia Marshall began her career at Pine Grove Elementary School where she taught uh, the third grade and went on to teach uh, uh, special education for 20 years 
before being elevated to the position of assistant principal and principal for 12 years until her retirement in 2003. And whereas Patricia Marshall remained an active and loyal member of the community after her retirement by serving on the Raleigh Public Education and Triton Education Foundations as well as the Raleigh Chamber of Commerce until the time of her death on July 25, 2011. And now therefore uh, be it resolved that the Massachusetts State Senate hereby honors the memory of Patricia Marshall on the dedication of the Pat Marshall Link Art Gallery at Pine Grove Elementary School and be it further resolved that a copy of, of this resolution be transmitted forthwith by the clerk of the Senate and to the Pine Grove School System. This resolution was voted on by the body of the Senate and signed by, by uh, Senate President Therese Murray on May 17, 2012. It was attested to by the clerk of the Senate, William F. Welsh, and it was offered by Senator Bruce Tarr. understand that uh, we'd like to have this in display at the gallery, but That's I, I will see you to it that we can get a duplicate for the family to, to keep as well. That'd okay. be wonderful, yes. Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thanks. I'll present this to you. Okay. And now I'd like to have come to the podium um, Representative Harry Stanley. Well, I'm not going to read the citation, but I'm um, just going to pass a few remarks on. And when I came into state government, I ran in 1994 and took office in 1995. I thought this was the Pat Marshall School, not Pine Grove. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, she was terrific about bringing me up to speed of all things educational from, um, from K right on up. So I just want to say, this is my last term. I'm leaving. Everything goes in a cycle, and uh, I think it's very appropriate for me to say goodbye to our family. Thank you so much, and thanks for loaning her to us for all that time. Thank you. And now we have Marion Jones, third grade teacher, who's going to read a dedicatory tribute to Pat Marshall. We, um, we have written this and we'll be hanging it in the gallery and I'm just going to read to you what it says. It says the Pat Marshall Link Art Gallery. The Pat Marshall Link Art Gallery was named on May 20th, 2012 in honor of Pat Marshall who dedicated her entire career to providing the children of Raleigh with an education of excellence. Over the course of 35 years, Pat served as teacher, assistant principal, and principal. Following her retirement, Pat continued supporting Pine Grove School through active participation on a variety of committees. Pat's love, kindness, and friendship touched the lives of countless students, teachers, parents, and community members. The founding and maintaining of the Link Art Gallery was near and dear to Pat's heart. She supported and encouraged the creation and success of the Link Art Gallery from the time of its inception. Pat embodied the mission of the Link Art Gallery, which is to link education of the whole child to the entire world community. Thank you, Mary. And now for the big moment of the afternoon, the unveiling of the sign. So would Pat's family members who are participating in this please come forward? And I believe you have a very special job to do. Morgan. Catch. Now hold gently. <laughs>
invite in the portion of our program if there's anyone in this um, gallery who would like to come forward and say some remarks about our former friend and colleague, Pat Marshall. So, okay, please come forward. Well, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> and got um, the idea put into my head about two minutes before I walked in the building, so this is not prepared. Um, but I think the year was 1981, it may have been 1982, when I was, uh, went over the border from New Hampshire to working in Massachusetts, the year crop two and a half, I was always so smart about those things, <laughs> and met this group of staff members that, um, I don't know whether it was the staff members that told me at the beginning or whether it was Hank Trainer, who was the superintendent, Who's, who I think it might have been him that said, oh, such a bunch of pushy broads. <laughs> and I just said, wow, I am cold. This is good. And we just had a magnificent time. And then this other superintendent came, Jerry Cohn, and he one day said to me, you know, I know you don't have any space, so you need to get hold of whoever that is at the State Department and let's, let's do a building project. <laughs> the guy kind of looked at me like I was cross-eyed, like, what is this little principal from Raleigh calling me about a building addition? But sure enough, we got a building addition underway. And then we had an architect by the name of Doug Flockhart. And I really do think that Mary Ann Verossi got him twisted around her little finger. <laughs> and we were trying to figure out how are we going to link the parts of the school. And that's in my memory where Link Art Gallery came from because we were just trying to figure out how the different levels of the school were going to come together. And that's where the name evolved from and Mary Ann started saying, well, we could have this alcove here, we could have these things up here, we're going to make a curved wall here. And Doug just designed it around her wishes. <laughs> and we had music many times in the Link Art Gallery. So it was just such a memory lane to come back here and see many of my colleagues from the 80s, some of whom are still working here and many of whom are not, um, and the wonderful secretarial staff of Don Irving and then Sally Gorski, who just, um, it never mattered how confusing and crazy things got, they kept everything calm. <laughs> so it's a wonderful, wonderful memory. and. I do remember the summer when Pat went from being assistant principal to being principal, and there was just this feeling I would give her one more piece of the puzzle, like special education, and I'd feel like a thousand pounds was lifted <laughs> off my shoulders every time I told her about another piece that she was going to do, and she was just obviously carried that on in the most magnificent way, and aren't we all lucky for that? Thank you. Thank you, Mary, for <laughs> nudging me up here. <laughs> um, uh, when Angela and I walked in today, uh, the first thing Angela said to me was, the memories. And seeing everybody here today, the memories come flooding back that I might need the full box of tissues, but I'll try not. Um, I, I have to say, Pat was probably instrumental along with Sue, and along with many people here today, in making me feel like a member of the family when I was an alien from across the pond. <laughs> I think without Pine Grove School, I would probably still be living in England today. <laughs> we would have stayed for a few years as we planned, and then we would have gone back. But because of Pat, Pine Grove School, the wonderful staff, the feeling of family, which, looking around, it feels like coming back to visit with family today. Kept me here, uh, going on 33 years now, and it'll keep me here for a long, long time. And I, I've got so many memories that I could keep you all here for at least three or four hours. But I'm going to talk about some fun memories, which many of you, or a fun memory, that many of you uh, joined us. And that was in the summertime up in New Hampshire on the lake. <laughs> Remember those days? How many of us would there be? 12, 14, 16, 20? 
We all piled up to the lake. Pat and her aunt and uncle were the most fabulous hosts. They didn't mind us <laughs> taking over with assorted kids. And I think if we all had to sit down and think about some of those wonderful summer days at the lake, we would see Pat in her element, <laughs> smiling, letting us all get on, all of us talking a mile a minute, laughing a lot, uh, swimming a lot, Pat loved to swim, and uh, I, I leave you with her smiling face. Thank you. Pat Marshall was wonderful and such a representative head of the family. And that's what Pine Grove School always was, was a family. And the definition of collaboration, everybody working together. And Pat was like a mother. A mother, right? A mother to all of us and to all of the kids. And she would fight like a mother for what was right for the kids. <laughs> and for all of us. Uh, do we all remember Madeline Hunter? <laughs> Marion in particular. <laughs> Marion in particular? <laughs> and, but that was another example of Pine Grove headed by Pat and Sue and everybody joining together as a family um, and working together. How many of you remember Proposition two and a half. <laughs> oh, and the budget cuts. And do you remember the solution that Pine Grove School came up with? You, as a school together with Pat, all of you. I mean, I remember Mary Murray saying, you know, there's something we can do with special ed. Mary Murray and Pat Marshall <coughs> saying, you know, there's a kid up in wherever it was, Amesbury, somewhere who could come to Pine Grove School and we could take his tuition money. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> and buy two teachers with it, including, what was the sixth grade teacher's name? <coughs> and keep him. And we could then have, instead of 48 and 48, which we were planning to, we were gonna have to have in the two sixth grade classes, we could have 36, 36, and 24. And the parents had to volunteer to have their kids in that sixth grade class with the special ed kid with 24, and to agree to be his buddy one hour a day. Remember that? <laughs> By the end of the year, the special ed kid was basically no longer special ed. I mean, he was wonderful. What a transformation as part of a family. That's what I took from Pat Marshall and the family of Pine Grove School. That whole concept of collaboration with which Pat lived and led here at Pine Grove School. We are so lucky to have been with her for too short a time. Pat, we miss you. Uh, this dedication of this link art gallery in the name of Pat Marshall uh, is just a very little bit of the appreciation that we feel for your memory. Thank you, Pat. I have some kind of a distinction here today. I want to let you know I think I'm the longest working Triton employee, question mark right now, uh, 44 years. I have known, I, I taught, I was an administrator for a while, I taught again, now I volunteer, I also do a little tutor. So I'm still kind of on the book somewhere, so I call it 44 years. I have to say I have known some wonderful educators dedicated to the whole purpose of what we're about. But I have never known anyone as compassionate or loving of what she did every single day in her job. And I won't even call it a job for her, because it wasn't. She was a 
a friend at a time when I absolutely needed a friend. We were both were doing the same job in different schools and always there at the end of the phone line to give advice or just to hear me out as I complained about everything in the world. <laughs> so Pat, I know and you know, those of you who knew her well, that she's looking at this today and saying, yes, yes. And I know she loves the idea of us being together. So to Pat Marshall, a wonderful, wonderful leader, friend, professional teacher, and administrator. To Pat. saying anything, <laughs> but uh, when uh, on my drive over here this afternoon, uh, I had a, a long time for reflection, and uh, one of the uh, things that just struck me was how much Pat and I uh, grew up together. Uh, I came here to Pine Grove a year before Pat, uh, and we had, a, uh, had careers that intertwined and went back and forth for many years. I left here uh, after 26 years at Pine Grove, and Sue mentioned Pushy Broads <laughs> at my, uh, retire my leaving party, uh, I was given a t-shirt that said Pushy Broad number one, and Pat had one that said Pushy Broad number two. <laughs> but we, um, we learned so much together, and, and my foundation as an educator, and as I went forward into administration, came in working with Pat, and with Sue, and with Jerry, and others here at Pine Grove. And um, Pat was just such a very distinct and um, clear touch point in my life in terms of uh, the demonstration of what it means, uh, going back to what you were saying, Jerry, collaboration and school culture. And that was uh, fostered here, uh, maintained, and really uh, grew all the time that Pat was here. Uh, and I know that there's much of it here still today, and I, I really um, relished and, and appreciated the opportunity to come today and be part of this and to remember Pat. And to Jeff and Jason, uh, remembering all the growing up years and all the uh, connections <laughs> together. They were little ones upon <laughs> Um, this is a, an opportunity for all of you wonderful people to um, stroll through the gallery, take a look at some of the um, artists in the program. It lists every artist who has their work on display, including my daughter Adele Nealon, who is a graduate of Pine Grove. <laughs> 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 